Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss some of the important MCQ from uh, scientific learning. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Okay, starting from question number one, an image perception or concept that is capable of measurement is called. So here are the options: scale, type, variable, hypothesis, and the right answer is variable. So variable is something that can be measured or varied in an scientific study. Next one, a farmer applies different fertilizer to his uh, cotton crops. He wants to see which will make his plant grow the highest. So what is the independent variable? So the options are growth of the plant, different uh, cotton crops, type of fertilizer and the height of plants. So here the correct option is type of fertilizer. We know that the independent variable uh, is the one that is manipulated by the researcher. And in this case, it is the type of fertilizer being applied. Next one, a farmer applies different fertilizer to his uh, cotton crops. He wants to see which will make his plant grow the highest. What is dependent uh, variable? And the options are height of plant, different uh, cotton crops, growth of plants, type of fertilizer. And the correct option is height of plant. We know that the dependent variable is the outcome that is measured and in this case, it is the height of the plant. Next one. Farmer uses different types of uh, weedy size to kill weeds on, his, on their farms. What is the dependent variable? And the options are amount of weed killed, type of weeds, most uh, weeds and type of weed killers. And the correct option is amount of weeds killed. We know that the dependent variable is the outcome being measured, which is the amount of weeds killed in this scenario. Next one, uh, in a study, in a study about headache, Dr. Gipas and Ali, uh, tyl, uh, Tylenol, Advil, and Exedrine to see which medication would reveal the headache. The doctors uh, timed how long it took for the medication to work faster. So what is the dependent variable? And our options are types of pain reliever, amount of medication, amount of time until the pain was revealed and headache. And the right option is types of pain reliever. We know that the independent variable is the one that is manipulated and in this case it is the type of pain reliever given to patient. Next one. In a history about headache, Dr. Gip patient uh, Ali, uh, Tylenol, Advil and Exedrine to see which medication would reveal the headache. The doctors timed how long it took for the medication to work faster so what is the uh, dependent variable and the options are types of pain reliever amount of medication amount of time until the pain was re, uh, relieved and headache and the correct option is amount of time until the pain was and the option option is amount of time until the pain was uh, relieved we know that the dependent variable is the outcome being measured and in this case, it is the amount of time until the pain was revealed. Next one. Scientists wanted to determine the color of the flower to which bees are most attracted. She placed the flower's color but the same type together and counted the number of bees that visited each flower color. So what is the dependent variable here? So, and the options are type of flower, number of bees, type of bees, and color of flower. 
and the right option is number of bees. We know that the dependent variable is the outcome being measured, which is the number of bees visited each flower color. Next one, scientists wanted to determine the level of pollution a fish could with his tank. They placed fish in tank with different, uh, differing uh, pollution levels and uh, timed how long they could live under those conditions. What is the independent variable? And the options are levels of pollution, amount of time survived, uh, type of fish and uh, type of pollution. And the correct option is level of pollution because we know that the independent variable is the one that is manipulated and in this case it is the level of pollutions in the fish tank next one is how many independent variable can you use in an experiment and the options are uh, one as many as we want two and three and the correct option is as many as we want we know that causative factors related to the experiment are independent variables for example the amount of fertilizer sunlight and water can be the independent variables for the growth of a plant next one how many dependent variable can you use in an experiment and the options are one as many as we want uh, two and three and the correct option is 1 uh, because we know that it is common to measure one outcome that is one dependent variable at a time in a control experiment next one the fundamental unit involved in volume is options are kilometer meter second and more and the correct option is a meter we know that the fundamental unit for volume is a cubic meter Next one, which one of the following is not physical quantity and the options are area, height, sadness, time. And the correct option is sadness as sadness is not a physical quantity, uh, it is uh, an emotional state which cannot be measured. So which of the following is derived unit and the options are Ampere, Kelvin, uh, Candela, Newton. So here the correct option is Newton because Newton it is the derived unit of force which is calculated as many times acceleration as mass times acceleration. Next one which of the following is not the unit of length and the options are meter, centimeter, millimeter and the liter. So correct option is liter. Uh, it is not the unit of uh, length but it is the unit of volume next one periodic motion can be used to measure and the options are mass time length and none of them and the right option is time periodic motion such as the motion of the pendulum can be used to measure time next one which of the following is a fundamental unit and the options are Newton Pascal kilogram joule and the right option is kilogram kilogram it is the fundamental unit of mass next one which of the following physical quantity has a unit meter per second and the options are acceleration velocity force and density and the correct option is velocity velocity is SI unit is meter per second next one which of the following is derived unit and the options are candela ampere joule and Kelvin and the right option is Joule. Joule is the derived unit of energy which is calculated as the product of force and a distance. Next one which of the following unit denote Newton? A kg meter per second square, kg meter square per second square, kg per meter, uh, kg per meter square per second square and uh, option 4 kg meter per second square. Uh, kg meter per second and the correct option is kg meter per second square uh, Newton is defined as kg meter per second square uh, so uh, so option 1 is correct option by this so uh, we have completed some of the important MCQ from the unit 1 scientific uh, learning 
i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video please share with your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section if you have any queries drop the comments in the comment section see you on the next video thank you